10.44 remaining here in the first period. Helps the Bucks get a line change in. Out comes that top line, Hassan Highmore. Actually, he's uh, on, been moved to the second line, actually, to get things shaken up a little, little bit. Now driving in towards the goal, Bohomeski Look in the score! And that was a quick shot by Justin Osborne in the third line. They look great on the opening faceoff, and they get it done here just about halfway through the first period. And Justin Osborne, the Maple Ridge native, snipes one. The right shooting forward popped it top shelf up over Fletcher's glove, and he was not much he could do. The shot came really quickly, and Sardis loose puck in behind their goaltender, Fetcher. Now he receives the pass, thought about going up the middle, uses the sideboards instead, and that turns over possession as the pass was incomplete. And now, once again, power down the right side. Stick handles into the middle, one-time shot, and they score. That was a beautiful setup. And I think it was C with him, but I can't tell for sure if that was C or if that was Pacheco. I'm thinking probably Pacheco, but I'll have to wait and see. He turned away at the, as soon as he got that one-timer off. No, it is C, and he gets a goal. His dad's going to be happy. He's here in the, the stands tonight. And our play, stick is slapping on the ice. Can the Bucks get anything done here at the close? Into the middle of the ice, and that one goes right straight down to Zade Boltaki as he tries to sprint loose, and he's got a man with him. Tries to move it in the middle, but they catch up with Blake Power, but they keep the play live from the sharp angle. One-time shot, they score! Carson Steele, a good play at one end, and then he makes another one at the other side of the rink. And it's a 3-0 Port Alberni lead. And the Bucks. there couldn't have been worse timing for Zade Boltaki to come out of the box and collect that puck. And there's a few Buccaneers that are quite upset with how that one went down. But really hurt Tyson Tupper as he sacrificed his body and he was holding his elbow puck at the side of the goal as they throw a couple of hits moving in. Sandberg loads, shoots, and there's a diving block again. And this time, Justin Pitchor, actually, I think that's who it was. And now a couple legs get caught up as Klippenstein was all tangled up with Tanner Trustwell. And Klippenstein wants a little bit more. But I believe they're just letting that have the time expire there right at the end. There was really close to nothing left on the clock. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but the Bombers are celebrating. And it looks like it's going to go down in the books as a 3-0 win for the Bombers.